Hey, what's up, Crypto Armor? I'm Travis, your Crypto Newbie, bringing you my experiences. You have to learn things the hard way. Just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of my content should be viewed as financial advice. So today we're going to do a quick update on Yieldzilla. Yes, that's that Yieldzilla 916,000% APY token, and some phenomenal news. So I just want to do a quick update. Let's go ahead and jump right into the price. And as you can see, the price is on the way up. Now, surprise, surprise, what caused this price increase, do you think? Well, it's simple. Coin Market Cap finally removed that warning label that was complete utter BS at the top of Yieldzilla. And surprise, surprise, that caused the price to go up because they're no longer providing false information to potential investors. It's amazing how that works. Take off the false advertisement and the price starts to go up as investors learn more about Yieldzilla. Crazy, right? Back to a more reputable source of information. Here on PooCoin, you can see that we have seen a pretty good increase up to about the 1118. Now, again, it's going to take a little bit of time to get over that CMC information. So it's going to take a while for future investors to find Yieldzilla. But once they research into it and realize that this is a quality team that's already been through a DDoS attack and has already had the CMC issue, they're probably going to realize that this is a good investment because the team is still here and they're still fighting for the token, which is one of the things I like to see because rebase tokens in particular have had a lot of issues with people trying to attack them on their launches and Yieldzilla at about three times the APY of a lot of the competitors out there is the recipient of a lot of attacks because again, nearly a million APY is a pretty compelling reason to put even a little bit of money into this token because it has a lot of potential to make you really, really rich, especially if you diversify your portfolio and buy other rebase tokens, which is something I always recommend doing. Don't just buy one token. You need to diversify your portfolio. And it's not even just rebase tokens. You should diversify across all the tokens. You should have some ETH, some Bitcoin, some BNB, some Solana, some Polygon, especially since they're now listed on Robinhood. So you should really diversify your portfolio. Rebase tokens are no different. Titano, Yieldzilla, Sphere. There are some really good options for rebase tokens right now. So definitely make sure you're diversifying your portfolio, even if it's just a little bit on the potential for where it could be at the end of the year. Now, when we look at the holders, you can see we've seen a pretty good increase. Now, they did talk about this during the AMA. Yes, some of this increase was an airdrop. So what they did was they looked at the Tano holders and they looked at Seifu holders and they airdropped a small amount into their wallets. And somebody asked me about this on Twitter. And at the time I wasn't sure exactly what it was, but I heard that Seifu and Titano had done something very similar. And the team from Yieldzilla confirmed that yes, Seifu did airdrop a bunch of the holders for Yieldzilla, a little bit of Seifu, and they liked the idea. So, and they did the exact same thing to Titano holders and Seifu holders. So if you're out there and you're considering it and you're a Titano or a Seifu holder, and all of a sudden you've got a little bit of Yieldzilla in your wallet, that's where that came from. Now, as always, verify that the contract address is the same. You can also have dusting attacks out there that'll have the same name, but a different contract address. So just make sure before you interact with those tokens that it is the Yieldzilla contract address. And here's the correct contract address on the screen here for comparison. And it's kind of funny that there's an advertisement for Sphere Finance as we're talking about rebase tokens right here. So that's, that's just kind of a funny observation as we're looking at this screen. Now, as far as the utility, Yieldzilla did release some examples of what their play to earn NFTs are going to look like. And I got to say, this one looks phenomenal. This is by far my favorite one out of the two that they released and more are coming, obviously. But if we scroll over, we'll see the next one. I think this one looks really good. Don't get me wrong, but I've always been kind of a King Kong fan. So I really like this one. I think it looks pretty good. Now, it's been about three weeks since I initially bought into Yieldzilla, and I have bought a couple of the dips. So right now, I've got about $2,300 invested into Yieldzilla. Now, right here isn't exactly what I've got for my holdings, but it's pretty close. Like I said, I got around $3,000 right now based off of a $2,300 total investment. Now, based on that, I can break even if I was to sell right now. And that includes that 20% tax that you would get for selling. So I would break even. Now I'm three weeks in and I'm at break even point. Now that doesn't really sound like a really compelling reason to buy into Yieldzilla. But here's the big point. When I bought in and the majority of my buy-in was during the pre-sale, 
The pre-sale price was right around $17. And as you can see now, we're right around $11. So we are several dollars lower than when I bought in. And my recent buys have been at these prices. So pretty much all time lows, at least hopefully that's as low as they'll get. And I'm breaking even, even with that 20% fee. Kind of phenomenal. That's the beauty of rebase tokens because I'm constantly getting these rebases, which increase my holdings. The price doesn't have to shoot up for me to make money. 2.53% is a pretty phenomenal daily return on my investment, even with the price low. Now, if the price was around $17, where would I be? So let's take a look. And again, this is roughly what it was when I got in. Then we're talking about a pretty significant return on my investment based on the increase in the number of Yieldzilla tokens. That's the beauty of rebase tokens. And this isn't just specific to Yieldzilla. This applies to other rebase projects as well. It's the exact same concept. The difference is that 2.53% daily return is higher than most rebase tokens out there. So about three times higher than most of them. That's pretty phenomenal. Now I have complete confidence in the team to get us back up to higher prices. Again, we're kind of trending in the right direction. It's going to be bouncing around a little bit just because there's so many people that saw that CMC warning. They're probably not even going to go back and look at it until they watch some of their favorite influencers talking about the project and realizing that that warning never should have been there in the first place. And they look at the project through a fresh set of eyes. Now what's going to happen to my investment over time? Let's just assume that it stays at the current value here. Tomorrow, I will have made $76. Assuming that right now I'm at the break even point, tomorrow, if the price is the exact same as it is right now, I will have made $76. And if we fast forward to the end of the year, $27 million. And that's again, assuming that the price stays right where it is. I'm pretty confident the price is gonna go up. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't say that it's going to go up, but I'm pretty confident that it will especially with the play to earn game once that goes live because then you're talking about adding utility into the token now another update for yieldzilla is they've integrated this bog finance dex aggregator or basically a swap so now you can buy yieldzilla directly from the dap which is always nice between pushing for utility and making their ecosystem more user friendly and all the influencers they've got on board that are constantly pushing information out there about yieldzilla I have a lot of faith in this project to do well. And let's be honest, a million APY, that's a pretty compelling reason to invest in the project, even on the potential. <laughs> you can be a Seifu investor, you can be a Sphere investor or a Titano investment investor and still think that a million APY is worth investing a little bit of money into or a lot of money into. Again, I can't stress this enough. Always do your own research and I'm not a financial advisor, but I like this project. I think it's got a lot of potential. And with every AMA that I listen to for the team, I get a little bit more bullish on this project because they're getting better at doing them. Again, they're a very young team. Almost every project that launches, it takes them a little bit of time to find their groove on doing AMAs. They're not easy. Talking to a whole bunch of people live about a project is not always easy. You're not always prepared for the questions you're going to get asked. So they kind of fumbled a little bit in the beginning, but they're doing much better and they're going to continue to improve as they go. And this is no different across any of the projects. If you go back to the beginning of SafeMoon, there was a lot of complaints about how SafeMoon did their initial AMAs. Most projects have that unless they've got somebody on the team that's got a lot of experience with doing those things. So if you've got people that have done previous projects, Sometimes that can help you out a little bit as well. Now, somebody did reach out to me and ask questions about the lottery. Now, I don't have a lot of information on Chainlink VRF. They essentially run the randomized drawing of picking the address to win the lottery. So it's not the team that's behind picking this address. But I don't exactly know how the interaction between Yieldzilla and Chainlink works and how they get that information. I would actually prefer that they post the information from Chainlink, whether it's a screen capture or some sort of a announcement from Chainlink. That way there's no question about where this address came from. I think that would help provide a little bit of transparency 
but I'll try to reach out to the team and see if I can learn more about what this is. And maybe in a future video, I'll kind of explain this process a little bit because I don't exactly know how this works, but I did look at the Chainlink VRF website and I do understand that they do the process and it's actually recorded on the blockchain. So maybe it's potentially possible to actually see the result on the blockchain so they could post the winner with the actual transaction. That way you can go verify that, yes, this is what Chainlink came up with and it's the legitimate winner. Just to provide that extra transparency that the people that are winning this are the people that Chainlink select. So that's pretty much it for today. Hope you found the content helpful. Let me know in the comments. Are there any questions about Yieldzilla that I haven't answered for you or that you want me to dig more into? And I'll try to look into those and get back to you. Until next time, stay strong with those dominants.